once again we do that dot touching around equals false um, and then we remove this because we know neither of these and what we're doing is we're saying if was uh, what would we define this at the top if collided with yeah so if collided with so if there was a collision right if there was a collision we'll do something about it we gotta say collision events now this is a method that we're gonna declare in a second I think I don't think we've done it yet collision events and from there we send in uh, call X and call Y as well as the element of the um, of the walkers array and then we return true so we call that and we return true yes there was a, a collision true otherwise if there wasn't one we return false return false alright um, and that is pretty much it now collision events won't be known so let's pull F7 on this to find out what, how many mistakes we made so 5 apparently call Y what we did is put a big Y there actually put capital C there which we don't want F7 again let's find out exactly everything we've got if I was there in EN collision uh, this is not here where did I put EN collision was there any EN collision Oh um was there point oh yeah returning a value function returning is this not supposed to return something I believe it is did I put it bull uh yeah apologies on this did I make it void yeah so it should be a bull because it's returning a boolean all right so once again F7 making sure we got no errors so we've got fine movement uh bull fine oh it's enemy fine movement once again stupid mistake of the week and this is it the only error we're getting is the one we expect to get all right so that is it collision events doesn't exist so we don't care about that so i think this was pretty much our biggest uh function here now let's just hope we didn't make any stupid mistakes um i really hope i haven't made any stupid mistakes let's just look for player x quickly or player y and just making sure there's no mistakes player x there is no player X, player Y, old X1, nope, none of that, and old X, or old Y1, no, none of that, this is a good sign, hopefully we haven't made any mistakes, and we'll see this working quite well, otherwise we'll have to come back and quickly fix it. So, this was our biggest function, that's why we did it like that, because it's a fair amount of work, um, and now we only have a few more, now this one's a bit of a, a big one as well, um, so the reason... Um, I think we won't copy and paste this one because it's a bit too different to copy and paste. So our next one, scroll up, steal this. <coughs> so our next one is this is also a slightly big uh, meth uh, function, but it's not as bad as that one. So void um, enemy fire movement control AI. So we're nearly there, guys. So just bear with me, and we'll have this done very soon. Uh, we'll put AI because it's in capitals because it's an explanation for something so bull there was a collision equals false uh, then we're going to go for the usual for loop uh, we'll, we'll just copy one of these we don't really want to go through all of them so we'll go through the for loop just leave a little space there so we can read this well uh, let's just close the loop uh, that seems fine to me. So if walker is alive and so on. If now once again copy this because we're going to need to use this a fair bit. So if if dot touching ground. So if the walker is touching the ground, right? So we don't want to move them until they're touching the ground. We don't want to do that. First thing we want to do is store their old position equals dot x. So all decks store their position. Did they collide with something? If they did, we move them back to where they were. So that is, um, as I explained earlier, the basics of collision pretty much in these games. Well, everything I think. Um, walking direction. Uh, walking direction equals left. So if walking direction equals left, we move them to the right. Otherwise, um, we move them to the left. So uh, then we say if db sprite. Right, DB sprite mirrored. So if the sprite is mirrored, that means he was facing one side that we don't want him to be facing, so we face him to the other. ID. Make sure you close that because that's my typical mistake. So if the sprite is mirrored, then we say, um, sorry, that's if DB sprite mirrored equals equals zero. Sorry, that would have been another mistake. So if he if he's not mirrored, then we mirror him. 
db mirror sprite was i dot id all right so if it equals zero then we mirror them um and then we say walkers uh oops i don't know why i typed that <laughs> i don't know why i deleted it the second time dot um x sorry equals walkers dot x um plus equals speed um x e n is this a valid variable? Yes, it is. So, because enemies have a different speed to Mario, we need to create um, the uh, thingy's own speed. Okay, guys. So, I found a few things uh, wrong with this that were causing uh, the game to not work too well. So, I'm just going to take you through, like earlier, I'm going to take you through a few mistakes. And this time, it's nowhere near as many. So, um, you see this code here. I'd recommend you do this to your display information because that was our problem, and I use this to check it out. Um, either way, most people like to have screen FPS showing on the side. So if you like that, um, to know how many frames per second your game's going at, you want to see the performance and what's uh, whatsoever. So you put this in and you find that out. Um, the game won't go any higher than 60 frames because I think that's what um, Dark GDK locks it at. Um, next thing, um, this isn't actually a mistake, but, but if you want to add that, feel free to do that. Um, here, this is why the thing is not showing too well. So before, all we had was this. Now I need you to add minus map x to this, please, if you could do that. Um, so just do that. So it's walkers i dot x um, minus map x. The next mistake is here. Um, we had this. Uh, I had. I tried to be clever on uh, going a bit off track uh, from what I was copying, um, and then that screwed me over. So this was here before. Um, yeah, this was here before but move it down here. I want it outside the DB sprite mirrored so make sure you have it outside there and now because we copied and pasted same problem here so just copy exactly the same here and have this just outside this if statement if you could um, uh, next mistake is yeah for some reason the program actually accepted this all I had before here was this DB hide sprite I'm sure some of you noticed this um, and, and the program lets you run it it's ridiculous it shouldn't even let you run it uh, but basically I made this mistake make sure you have that uh, add Mario in there this was screwing up with the flashes to death flashes and because as usual I copied this I got the same mistake for handle damage here so make sure you have add Mario onto this as well um, let's see if anything else is there yeah so this here this isn't an actual mistake here but the uh, characters actually go a bit too slow for my liking so if you run yours and you see that our oh, characters go a bit too slow then increase this to a three but that's fully up to you my and my original design it did one at three but i decided to add that up to here and i believe that is it so that's all errors fixed if you run a pro your program now i'm going to run mine quickly okay so this is mine um I've turned the music off because I don't want to get in trouble for copyright. As usual, I get a bit of freezy whilst I'm doing whilst I'm doing this. So you see, my frames are about. This is what I was telling you about. If you want to have this uh, little thing here to know how efficient and things are going, so you want might want to tweak some code up for better performance. Uh, in mine, it's never below 60, um, and I'm sure yours will be similar. Um, the reason why it's a 43 now is because Fraps is a big piece of crap if you're trying to record a lot of things at once. Um, but basically, this is it. I've tested the game. I've run over the game quite a few times. You can do that if yourself if you like. Um, basically, as you can see, Goombas are here. They're walking really slow because the frames are crappy. If I do this, I can kill him, blah, blah, and so on. Now, I'm going to kill this because I don't feel the need to show this uh, for any longer because it's too slow so yeah this is pretty much it guys we are done with this now um, obviously I apologize for the few mistakes I made along the way at least on the end there weren't too many so that's a good thing um, so everything is pretty much done um, yeah I don't know how long this took but I'm guessing it took quite a few hours I'm now gonna go edit the files and you don't really care about that because you'll be seeing them as I'm speaking through this but basically this is done um, I've done this to the best uh, of my ability obviously um, I never thoroughly tested everything too much I've, I've tested it and stuff so there's still a small chance there'll be a few bugs about especially in this version on my fully completed game version I don't think there'll be that many bugs uh, but uh, there's likely to be some uh, in the future um, if you guys like I can make the uh, so let me know leave me a comment if you like so if I get any half decent feedback about this I can make the main menu um, what we'll do is we'll pick up on this file and we'll add a main menu to it and uh, so that way we'll have a main menu for the game and stuff and the user can choose options, resolution and so on uh, resolution is like a bad example because this game can't really have many different resolutions but um, 
we can have one of those, we can make a very cool menu and stuff. I was thinking of doing a map editor as well, I'm not sure I'll do that one very soon, but uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, anything I do is usually I release to you guys, um, anything fun. So, I was going to release a Modern Warfare 3 uh, Spec Ops, um, basically a Spec Ops um, trainer, but um, I don't want to get any of your accounts banned or anything like that, and that becomes a bit dangerous when you work with that. I'm pretty sure you won't anyway, but um, I, I left that out. Um, anything else? Um, I'm trying to do some, uh, as I mentioned a few times, aimbots and stuff. Uh, I'm not quite with too much of a grasp on those yet, so I, that, those should be a while until I do them. Um, trainers, I, I expect, I've done a training in C Sharp for you guys. I expect to do one in C a while, in a while. Um, that should be a bit better. Um, obviously, it'll be a bit more difficult, but obviously, as usually, uh, as usual, I'll take you guys through the whole thing. Um, anything else I might be working on? Uh, a 2D. Um, I was thinking of doing a 2D, uh, like um, a game a bit like my Akuma's Revenge. Uh, but uh, I was thinking of maybe starting that from scratch, but um, making like a 2D fighter. Uh, um, a game that looks a bit like Street Fighter, that would be a good idea, I think. Um, so if you guys are interested in any of that, let me know. Because um, it, it's really about um, what you guys want more than anything. Uh, I do these things, but I usually I, I get, not requests, but I usually get people saying, oh, it would be cool if you did this, and then I usually go and do that. Um, obviously, thanks for the new subscribers. I don't get many subscribers anyway, but uh, it's great when I get a few new ones. Um, and I, real, I realize every time I make a new video, I always get a few more uh... people that are interested in this kind of stuff and that's cool um, so yeah um, let me know what you thought of this did you get your game fully working and so on um, i hope that you did uh... if you did then feel free to download the solution below and uh... make it any comparisons see oh if something isn't working there's a likely hood that you type something wrong because I type things wrong all the time and you see me fixing those mistakes so it's normal that you're following me and it's such a big program that mistakes are bound to happen so uh, I think this is it guys, I hope you enjoyed this, it was a lot of work for me, so uh, if you like, um, rate the video up to you obviously. Um, so yeah, this is about it for me, uh, thanks for watching, I'll see you later.